Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. Gonna make a video on how to kill a vole. I haven't used this specific on voles before, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, a vole is like a mouse, kind of like a field mouse. But here, along my wife's English garden, she calls it, even though it's in Missouri. Um, we have a pattern here going underneath our landscaping edging and up into the bed you see the grass that's died it's almost like it's piled grass over the uh, tunnel but it's, you think it's a mole but it's not it's a vole and I'll show a picture of one Hopefully I can get a picture of this one after I kill it. But I've shown before in a video how to kill moles. And the product I use is simply decon. My wife discovered this. You just put some decon tablets into their trench. And um, of course it dehydrates them and eventually kills them. So I'm going to try it with the bowl also. So using the screwdriver here to probe around. See if I can find some good places to put it. It's interesting the way I've never seen this before. It's made a covering, I guess. So, so I'll drop some here, kind of at this interest entrance. And this appears to be maybe a tunnel. So I'll drop some down in there. Of course, now you gotta be careful doing this if you have pets. I don't have any pets, so you don't want the pets eating this probably so um, bed is really looking good with all the flowers. He's probably hiding under some of these flowers right now, but <clears throat> can't see him. Put a few more in this hole. There again, I don't have to worry about dogs or cats getting in this, so I don't have to be careful in burying it. It's just simple decon, which you know only costs a couple dollars from the Walmart or any pretty much any stores, and found it really works on moles so I don't know why it won't work on a bowl so hopefully it'll come out of the ground belly up and I can give you a picture of it so okay I'm gonna try another alternative here to try to get rid of the bowl 
on my wife's English garden here in the backyard. Uh, had limited success with trying to get the vole to eat the decon because we've been having off and on rain showers and of course this is water soluble this decon and um, so I came up with another alternative reading that voles like to get into things so found a piece of PVC pipe that I'm not using left over I think from a sewer project or something and I put a rock in the end of it to hold it down and a rock beside it and I put the decon inside and it appears to be eating it this is about a third of what was in there so I'm going to put some more in right now And I'm basically just going to sprinkle it into the pipe. Like so. Let it go down away from the entrance. Probably should be using gloves to do this, but I'll wash my hands right away. So, I now have additional decon in the pipe. And slide it in to kind of hide it to give the roll some sense of comfort. Have a rock. Had the rock in the end of the pipe, but I took it out to make sure it can get in. This is on a slope, so so keep it from rolling down the hill, hopefully. And we'll see if he continues to eat. If you recall, over here is where the where I first saw him. his entrance into the under the uh, under the edging so this is up hill of that and we'll see how this works I'll keep reporting back youtubers okay youtubers update on the vole situation if you recall there's my pipe I used Try to lure him in. Also got a bunny rabbit we're trying to get now. But anyway, my wife was looking at her flowers today and she came over to this end. The trap is over there. She came to this end and she found a dead bowl. So it's like our poison worked. And it's been here a while. A lot of decay. Just like a little mouse. Not much left of it. It's totally dehydrated. And something must might have eating on it too so anyway I think um, the decon was a success that's all for now youtubers